Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from Devdecting, and today I'm super excited to share this course with you. So my newest course, named Ionic by Doing, will bring you through the process of learning the Ionic framework. Did you just see that? <laughs> there was an actual promotion video I did, I think, four years ago for uh, one of the first Ionic courses that I released. Today I'm releasing a new course that is definitely not my introduction, but that's something I want to talk about today. If you're not embarrassed by the things you created four or five or how many years ago, you definitely made something wrong over all those years. I mean, can you, can you feel my excitement in that video? That is definitely the most excited person I've ever seen. <laughs> today I'm super excited, super excited, super excited. Oh, sweet Jesus. Good thing we're now four years later. If you haven't, please also make sure to right now like the video and also subscribe with a little bell icon so you always get notified about the latest videos. That will help me a lot on my quest to receive the 100,000 subscribers and the YouTube play button. But today we will not only laugh about old videos that I did, which would actually be pretty awesome, so maybe you could vote for that as well. But I want to bring something else to the attention of you, of the developers watching this video vlog or whatever we want to call it. So basically, at one point, we were all beginners. So there's this famous quote, you can't compare your self-start to someone else's end. And uh, I fall in that trap uh, over and over again. Uh, just recently when I was watching some other YouTube channels or uh, somebody releasing a new page, they are maybe far ahead and I'm at a completely different level right now. And this actually counts for uh, basically everything. Not only uh, creating videos or whatever, but this also applies to software development. Because I know a lot of people um, are currently starting to learn whatever language it is, they're just happy to get into IT in general and develop things. And when they enter this barrier and this uh, whole new world for some, this can be a very frustrating process given the fact that there are so many expert programmers of different levels in different languages, in different frameworks, in whatever. If I would observe my own situation, I'm just I don't know. I'm a bit ahead in Ionic and Angular compared to others, but I'm still way behind like the complete Ionic team. They know Ionic a lot better than I do, whatever language it is. And also, I just recently got this um, comment on the last video. If it is okay to ask questions if you're a new developer, and my answer was yes, 100%. So when I got accepted to my first job, I was working in a small team, uh, we were doing some iOS development and some other tasks and then I was also uh, thrown into a Python project of which I had no idea at all. And of course I had questions like every single day and the only thing that you need to keep in mind is it is no problem to ask another developer but you shouldn't ask the same question twice. So approach them, ask them politely if they can help you, uh, show them how things work. but. It is important at that point to always take notes. So at one point I had like a huge document of notes uh, where I kept like shell commands and how I do this and that on a server, how to lock things out, how to open different files or start a process or convert files. All of this, it was like the, it was like my work brain Every day I could go back to that file and search for a solution because I know I had that problem before, I asked for it and I noted the solution. Always make sure that you take notes in those situations. I have really put this off for way too long. Let's see what's inside. Oh look, it's another box, yay! Alright, so I got another bag of acoustic form for my walls. That means this setup will now be improved. Alright, great start. I hope all of these will make the sound in my videos even better, but I'm not completely sure if I 
would need some on those walls as well. When you're just starting out or you are currently becoming a software developer, those things don't matter. So after four or five years of blogging and recording videos, this is my studio. I got some uh, cool acoustic form, I got some um, cool lights, I got a green screen that I can pop up uh, very instantly and I got a nice desk setup. But when I was starting out, none of those things uh, existed. So back then I basically had bad equipment, my videos were bad as you have seen, um, my screen capturing was bad, the articles were bad and also the code I've written to some degree was pretty bad. I was corrected on a lot of articles and that's totally fine. If you are not ashamed of the code you've written like two years ago or if you're not ashamed of how you are in terms of your skills like a few years ago, that's a bad sign. Because if you feel from the current position ashamed of what you were a few years ago, you definitely made progress over that time. And nobody was born an expert. I wasn't born with an ionic head back then. And you were certainly not born as the new star in some programming language, new framework or whatever it is that you want to learn. But the most important part here is definitely to just get better over time and then you can sit back. Uh, smile at those old videos that you did a few years ago, all the vlog episodes, how you used to talk to the camera, whatever it is. Because what I also found uh, pretty tricky is seeing your actual progress over the years. This year it's one of my goals to like track my numbers and do all those things so I can actually see the progress over the year. But in terms of your skills, it's pretty hard to track your progress. Did you get better in a programming language? Did you improve like 50% in learning Spanish or whatever it is? So only if we look back at those old things that we're sometimes ashamed of, it is actually good to be ashamed of them. Maybe just turn it around from being ashamed to being happy uh, of the progress that you made over the last years. So that is my message for you today. Actually, I also released a new video course today. I hope you can feel the same excitement like I did back then four years ago for the topic. I'm super excited. But if you just take one thing out of this video, it should be like Steve Jobs described in this one interview. Life can be much broader once you discover one simple fact, and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. Nobody around you is perfect. Everyone started at some point. Be a good beginner, learn on your way, be ashamed of how you were a few years ago and then always make consistent progress day in day out, learn to get better over time. I'd love to know also if you have some uh, cringe-worthy moments like that video from uh, a few years ago. I actually got a few more of those videos. You basically just have to look up the latest video on this YouTube channel. You won't find a lot of uh, videos with a talking head in there, but if you find one of those I can guarantee you it will be super bad because I, um, I barely learned to talk to just a camera device, so uh, apparently this here is not you, it is a camera that I can touch and look into. If you compare it to that first video, you will see that I was like a killer that was never closing the eyes. And on camera, oh that burns, ow! On camera that looks pretty strange. So let me know your cringe-worthy moments below this video. Perhaps you also got a video of them or at least a picture. And like always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed. Hit the bell so you receive the new videos that will come in now every Thursday. So have a great week, build something awesome and as always happy coding, Simon. Super excited.